A new clinical trial finds that magnesium may improve sleep quality, sleep duration, and daytime energy levels. Let's break it down and talk a little bit more about how magnesium can improve the health of your brain, because I think there's some really impressive research emerging about a particular form of magnesium known as magnesium l 3 nate and that's what we're going to talk about a little bit more today. But first, let's dive into this recently published randomized controlled trial where they dosed individuals with one gram of magnesium l 3 nate which is the only form of magnesium that has been shown to improve brain levels of magnesium. And I think that's really important because there's all sorts of magnesiums out there. We'll talk about the ones that I don't really like and the ones that I recommend, but uh, the magnesium l 3 nate known as magnetine has been shown to improve brain magnesium levels. And this is important for two reasons. Number one, when you improve magnesium levels in the brain, you can increase the levels in your brain of serotonin and melatonin, because it turns out that magnesium is a cofactor for 350 enzymatic reactions in the body, but two of which are really important for synthesizing melatonin as well as serotonin. And it turns out that brain-based levels of magnesium and higher levels of magnesium may enhance serotonin as well as melatonin in the brain. So that's important point number one about why you should consider possibly increasing magnesium levels in your brain with magnesium L3 and 8. Point number two is it turns out that brain magnesium can enhance the activity of mitochondria mitochondria and in helping to create cellular energy for your neurons. And that's why numerous open label studies find that magnesium L3 and 8 has been shown to improve memory, working memory, and cognitive and executive function in individuals who have cognitive issues. There's a bunch of studies on looking at memory and focus and concentration using magnesium L3 and 8 that have been published. We're not going to get into the weeds of those today, but we're going to focus more on sleep because in my opinion, if your sleep is compromised, it's going to be really hard to have a good working memory and good memory and focus. And we know that people with Alzheimer's disease uh, have poor sleep quality, sleep duration. Uh, we know that Sleep challenges are a major problem for well-being, and about 21% of U.S. adults have some sleep quality issue, whether it's short sleep duration or sleep disorder breathing, insomnia, and, and more. So if we can consider a natural supplement that's restorative, that doesn't have a lot of side effects, in my opinion, that makes a lot of sense. And that's why I like considering something like magnesium l 3 and 8 that was used in this particular study uh, that was just published in the journal Sleep Medicine. The title of this study is Magnesium l 3 and 8 Improved Sleep Quality and Daytime Functioning in Adults with Self-Reported Sleep Problems, a Randomized Controlled Trial. Uh, what's unique about this is the individuals, the, the investigators recruited 80 subjects that had self-reported sleep issues between the ages of 35 and 55. And I think this is important because especially for women, ladies, you know this, if you've gone through menopause or are going through menopause, this is a time when your hormone levels and low progesterone and estrogen to progesterone ratios are all out of whack. And sleep is really a problem for women. So what I love about this uh, is this was a mixed gender study involving subjects between the ages of 35 and 55. This three week randomized controlled trial had a placebo arm as well as the one gram magnesium L3 and 8 intervention arm. And the dosing I think is important in relation to timing before bed. They recommended that the subjects took the, either the placebo or the magnesium L3 and 8 two hours before bedtime to ensure that they had adequate time to allow the magnesium to get absorbed and, and go to the brain or wherever else it was going to improve sleep, which is what they found. And they were able to look at statistically significant differences uh, in markers of sleep duration, sleep quality, as well as daytime energy levels and wakefulness using a combination of both objective as well as subjective sleep quality and sleep duration markers using standardized three or four different standardized questionnaires, the names if you're interested, the insomnia severity index questionnaire, the lead sleep evaluation questionnaire. And they also use the aura ring, which as many of you know, is a great tool that's a wearable that can not only look at your sleep architecture, like the percentage of deep sleep versus REM sleep versus light sleep, but it can also look at heart rate variability and uh, readiness using heart rate variability as a proxy. So it's a, a great tool. But then they also looked at, which I think is quite interesting, more subjective standardized sleep uh, assessments uh, and wakefulness questionnaires, which looked at um, readiness. They looked at daytime productivity, behavior upon wakening, mood, mental alertness, and so forth. And it turns out that 
And we always see this in placebo-controlled trials. When anyone's in a clinical study, uh, a randomized controlled trial, they generally get better, whatever it is, whatever the intervention is, because the placebo effect is actually quite strong. But there were more statistically significant improvements in the intervention group that were of statistical significance. And I think that's important, particularly a reduction in, in grouchiness, an improvement in mood and mental alertness, as well as improvements in deep sleep, as well as REM sleep. So I think that's really important, friends, because as we've heard, you know, sleep issues are really problematic for well-being. There's numerous people, about one in five of us have a sleep issue. And I think this is important. So the investigators say that magnesium l 3 nate has been previously clinically demonstrated to improve cognitive scores reflecting individuals' executive function, working memory, episodic memory, attention span, and beyond. Additionally, studies have found that magnesium l 3 nate can reduce stress and anxiety after 12 weeks of consumption, but this was the first study of its kind to find that magnesium l 3 nate can improve sleep. They say this is of great interest to examine the effects of magnesium l 3 nate on the effect of sleep. Here, we report the effects of one gram of magnesium l 3 nate per day intake over the course of three weeks that results uh, in a demonstration that supplementing with magnesium is safe, effective, well tolerated, and results in statistically significant improvements in sleep quality, daytime activity, and mood outcomes as compared to placebo. Um, so I think that's important for self-reported sleep quality. The magnesium l 3 nate consumption group also had significantly improved behavior following awakening. So I think that's important because a lot of people, unfortunately, are sad, they're anxious, they're depressed, maybe turning towards antidepressants or mood-altering drugs. Well, what about something like restorative, like magnesium? Because as, you, uh, as we've been talking about, magnesium is a cofactor for 350 enzymatic reactions. It helps in the brain, particularly because it affects uh, mitochondrial function in the brain and, and may help improve serotonin and melatonin uh, production in the brain. So I think that's really interesting. You know, the research to me is quite compelling. And I've been using magnesium L3 and it com uh, paired with uh, creatine and electrolytes uh, together before I film videos like this. Um, I find that it does sort of clear the cobwebs mentally and helps you have better uh, verbal acuity, better executive function and improve cognition. So I wasn't really aware of the fact that magnesium can improve sleep duration, sleep quality. And so I will be taking more magnesium L3 and 8 before bedtime. I hadn't been doing that. I've been considering it more of a nootropic during the day. Uh, I think that's interesting. So I do want to thank our friends over at magteen.com for helping uh, with this video. Definitely check them out. There's a lot of supplement companies out there that are selling magnesium L3 and 8. Uh, the only one that I recommend is Magteen. I and mean, you can learn more about the research uh, where this particular form of magnesium has been the only shown to help to increase brain levels of magnesium, which uh, as we now know, may enhance sleep, sleep quality, and also daytime uh, behavior levels. But I told you I wanted to get back to a story about a, a client of mine who has high LP little a and high high levels of oxidized LDL. And he's really eating a clean diet. He's been off processed foods, uh, is not been drinking, not consuming alcohol, and is, you know, exercising, strong dude. Uh, he's like 6'7", 240 pounds, something like that. Um, seems really fit, low low body fatness and everything. And his LDL is a little bit on the high side, but, but his LP little a and oxidized LDL were actually quite concerning where I was like, you know, I don't know what to make of this. or I don't know why this is happening. Are you sure you're not having, you know, a lot of canola or cottonseed or soybean oil? And like, what, I don't know what's going on here. And we started talking about, I'm like, well, how's your sleep? He's like, oh, my sleep, man, my sleep sucks. Uh, it's really no good. I'm like, that's interesting. Well, tell me more. Do you snore? Do you wake up? It's like, oh yeah, I totally snore. I wake up with a dry mouth. He has all the symptoms of sleep apnea and sleep disorder breathing. So that's where, you know, and his doctor couldn't figure out why his LP little a is high. So, um, I just want you to, as we part ways here, understand the importance of sleep. This person is doing everything right from a dietary standpoint, but his inflammatory markers are increasing and his LP little a and oxidized LDL are increasing, which, you know, that's not good from a cardiovascular risk standpoint, which is really concerning for him. Um, so he's actively working on getting a sleep study done, doing mouth taping, working on um, minimizing, improving his nasal breathing, minimizing mouth breathing during sleep. So I... I just implore you not to overlook sleep. This is a really piece of low hanging fruit that can improve all facets of your health and well being. Uh, and if you do struggle with sleep, you may want to consider, um, you know, getting magnesium L3 and 8 from a, a highly reputable company. Um, the magnetine material is awesome. There's a bunch of research coming out on this, and I think this is really important. So I would love to know what you think in the comment section below, my friends. Thanks for tuning all the way in. We'll catch you on a future video down the road. 
Until next time, be well.